My father was Marcelino Serna, the hero, World War I hero, the most decorated soldier from Texas. Marcelino was 16, 17 years old when he came over to the United States, and at the same time, that's where he went and enlisted to uh, be uh, in the Army. And he got to Europe, and, and his, his senior officials realized he wasn't from the United States. And they offered, they told him he didn't have to fight. And he decided to do it anyways. And he became the most decorated World War I veteran from Texas. It's an amazing story. And when you hear about his acts of valor, it really reads like a, a movie or a novel. Mexican Americans before World War I were ironically very loyal to the United States. They'd been treated very badly. By 1917, most of their lands had been taken through violent raids. They reacted by becoming and demonstrating their citizenship to the United States of America. So it's not unlikely that Mexican Americans would have wanted to and did, of course, volunteer and respond to the draft for World War I. They were very loyal American citizens. Nombrar este puente, no tengo palabras. port of entry in Texas on the Mexican border demonstrates the nation's commitment to recognizing the service of an American like Marcelino Serna. It recognizes that courage, liberty, freedom knows no racial boundaries. It knows no national boundaries. For his acts of courage and honor, Serna was honored by the U.S. Army with two Purple Hearts and the Distinguished Service Cross, the highest honor that a soldier can receive after the Medal of Honor. Marcelino Serna became the most decorated World War I veteran from Texas and lived out his life in the Tornillo area. The Tornillo Marcelino Serna Port of Entry will not only honor this extraordinary man's service to our nation, it will serve as a reminder of the countless Hispanic American immigrants who have fought valiantly to keep our nation safe. Marcelino was a Mexican citizen. He came over at the time. He was 16, 17 years old. He always wanted to enlist in the military, which he did. And he showed the American people what kind of a person he was. You know, and I'm very proud to be saying this about Marcelino Serna. I would like my great, great grandkids to remember that there was a hero in their family and that legacy to continue for them not to forget their great-grandfather. <laughs>